there is no discussion that urban becomes very, very, very important. It was also confirmed on EU level by adopting Urban Agenda for the EU. And now all of these formal documents which are framing what we should do in the future should be translated into national policies, what we actually did because we adopted a national urban policy to 2030. And then, most importantly, it should be translated into local urban policies. It's high time that the urban cities get the focus and the attention it deserves to change the lives of the people in terms of making sure that there is adequate shelter for all, there is access to basic services, there is also um, gender equality and inclusiveness in all the issues that are affecting citizens. Uh, one of the big points of any development is my favorite definition of what is a uh, public interest and I believe it's a constant search for adequate measure. We have a lot of laws which, uh, of course, in a little bit formal way, invite participation. And I believe during the last year, the people are much more eager to participate and they are more, more interested about what's really happening in their neighborhood. So I believe that uh, the future of participation is also in Bratislava and in Slovak cities and it's uh, growing. A lot of our cities don't have urban policies because focuses have been more on the rural side, especially from the donor side. So all we are saying that we need as support from the European countries is to support the urban interventions as to make the new urban agenda realistic and achievable. The necessary step for real policies is that they reflect interests of all the partners. It means that there must be ways how to organize participatory processes for each kind of document. They can, they can be different. But to involve as many groups representing as many parts of society as possible.